the Techno Team 2000 did not work. I, I believe it didn't work for one reason. Um, well, uh, okay. What well, one reason is I was going to WWE for a because WWE made you try out no matter what, right? So so yeah, I was at WCW, blah blah blah, but. You know, Ross and those guys said, hey, it's, it's you know, you got to come, da, 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 da. And last second, I had a former football player that was my tight end at the University of Louisville. Then he went to Indianapolis Colts, Miami Dolphins, Dallas Cowboys. But he just couldn't stay on a team. And uh, he was struggling and needed help. And his mom called me and said, hey, what can you do? He's a great athlete. So I got him a training deal at WCW. Because there for two or three years, WCW kept on saying that they, that they, that, that they would use him. Matter of fact, the crazy thing about it is, you know, after two years being there, they were definitely going to use him. Uh, he was at Disney and um, he wrestled a guy, which is from Tulsa, Oklahoma, which, uh, you know, we played high school ball, in the same town, uh, Bill Goldberg. And uh, he wrestled a guy named Bill Goldberg and beat uh, Bill Goldberg. And they said, hey, Chad, we want to change something in your outfit or something and canned that they, they canned the match. Chad lost his mind. He's like, I have been here for what, two or three years. This is my shot. He doesn't know what, you know, it's nothing about Bill Goldberg, right? He doesn't, you know, he knows Bill because I know Bill and da, da, da. But it wasn't about the match. He was just, he was, he was chomping at the bit to finally get his break. It pissed him off so much. He came back. He goes, I can't take it. I found a loophole in the contract. We took him up to WWE. We tried out. And I was told, I said, hey, your buddy comes up and he looks bad. Uh, you're both gone. And the tryout went phenomenal. Vince loved us. Uh, we, came, uh, we came from the tryout and he asked us to sign the contracts right there. Um, Chad just, man, he, we, 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 uh, Vince was excited. The outfits weren't done. Asked us to come up and wrestle Madison Square Garden, Boston Garden. Chad had some butterfly issues you know and just messed up two really basic moves i think that threw a crack in it right um so they they had they were kind of eyeing him um but then we went on a run and we were literally told that we were going to get the belts which you know what do you say it's improper bart and billy gunn were phenomenal they fought to get the belts and they were going to go on the europe tour we were in canada uh vince said get switch tickets the night before everyone left they switched tickets, and I'm like, that's not good. That that That's not good because we just got here. We've been here for, whatever, three months. They're going to drop the belts on us. These guys deserve the belt. It, we are going to get thrashed politically. And by that night, Gorilla Monsoon came and knocked on our door, switched the tickets back. We were on the Canada Tour, WWE Tour. As soon as we got back from the tour, instead we wrestled Bart and Billy, which were going to drop the belts to us, beat us. And then we were sent to Memphis. Um, you know, there's you know there's there's rumors of why that might happen, but it, it just it, they they were having they said, hey, we need to get Chad a little more experience before he's on TV. We got great hopes for you. We get to we get to Memphis and Randy Hales and those guys, you know, they're outlaws. <laughs> so they're like, well, Eric, we like the tag thing, but you know, could you wrestle singles too? I said, we, I'll wrestle singles as long as we wrestle tags. And then before you know, it, we're there two weeks and they're like, nah, nah, you just wrestle singles. We only use chat. I go, you do under, you do understand. Don't you? <laughs> we're here from Vince McMahon. And Randy's like, yeah, they'll understand. And I just got so frustrated. And Chad was, Chad just, he wasn't ready for the sport, meaning mentally. He wasn't ready. He was a football player. He didn't understand why do you, why do I gotta go why do I gotta go shake Shawn Michaels' hand and Undertaker's hand every time we come? Well, because that's what everyone does. You go in and shake every person's hand. We're a rookie at WWE to show respect. Eh, they don't want to shake my hand. They don't know. And I mean, I would tell this guy, and then I would get people that were cool enough to pull me aside and go, "Bro, you're." partner's getting major heat i'm like he's just shy and they go that's not gonna work so before you know it they sh they they get rid of him um and then they told me that vince was excited and and he had an all-new gimmick for me but it would take six months or seven months and and i i just said uh and and and, and i i personally talked to vince i said listen you 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 said to me which people say that people say that i heard about vince like ah, he'll say something do something else Vince McMahon 
told me when I signed my agreement, he goes, if you are ever not happy here, Eric, um, you tell me and I'll let you out of your agreement. And, and I've heard stories about Vince. I, so I, I called him. I said, I can't, I can't wait. I, I, you know, I, I waited for the techno team thing. Then the techno team thing happened. We're on a small run, decent run, looking good. Now we're in Memphis. We're playing games in Memphis, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I man, I, I got to stay on the road. I am still learning. I want to be as good as I can be. I want to be one of the best if possible. It takes time in the ring. I was averaging like 300, you know, 285 to 306 matches a year. I had to stay on that. I could not just take six months off here, eight months off there. You know, I'm brand new in the freaking business. I'm only in the business now with five, six years or whatever it is. Come on, you know? And he said, you know what? You're, you know, your contract's up because I think that, uh, uh, I think that you are going to be happy with the contract I'm going to send you. And, uh, you know, cause the, the, the first contract I signed was what everyone else signs, uh, you know, and uh, I don't know how many people know this, but when you sign, you know, and I'm, t- I'm talking about 90% of the talent you sign for uh, two years, I think. And it's, you're guaranteed three matches at $150 a day. You'll always make more than that, but that was his way that if someone got an attitude, he could just leave them at home and not pay them. Right. Um, he said, no, no, I'm, I, I'm going to make you a nice contract and I'm going to send it to you. He goes, I'm also going to send your release. Uh, cause that was my word. Whatever you want, do it. But, I but I look forward to this gimmick I've got for you. Um, so we'll talk soon. And I got both of them and the offer was absolutely incredible. Like you said, and, uh, but I signed the release and sent it to him because I, I, I I just thought at that time I had to get on the road. I am losing mat time and there's only so much you can do at a school per se compared to wrestling a match with a Rude or an Arn Anderson or, or whoever, right? I mean, you know this. I mean, you can go and work out the school all you want, but when you're under the lights in front of fans wrestling in real time, one match is equivalent to weeks or months, you know?